Today, the St. Croix community came out to support and address our homeless. New Chalet's West Mall files this report. We're here at the Department of Agriculture Fairgrounds and it's Project Homeless Connect. I'm here now with um, Chris Finch, who is the Human Services Commissioner, and this lovely lady from Red Cross, who I forgot her name. Jan Close. Miss Jan Close, welcome. Thank you. I understand Thank you. she just got her one month anniversary. Well, this is fantastic. You've got a great turnout here, represented by several entities into the government, a big network here. I just um, met my former pastor there, uh, Coop, Reverend Koopman, and a lot of people are out here. Tell us, um, uh, Commissioner Finch, what is this all about? This is a, a one-day service fair at its most basic to bring services to the homeless. It's, it's to connect people who are homeless with services that they may not know that they're eligible for or they may simply may not have known how to access. So rather than through the sometimes confusing repertoire of finding buildings and processes, we bring all the services together in one place from a variety of government departments and nonprofit agencies do a stress-free fun-filled activity add some food some music free haircuts massages along with it the serious side of this is where you can connect with a lot of services that may help you in your homelessness wonderful how many years has this been going on is this new well this is the first time for st. Croix we did our first one in the Virgin Islands in November in st. Thomas and served about 150 people we're um, but but this is not a concept that that is new statewide it's being done by, I think now it's up to a couple of hundred cities that are doing these Project Homeless Connects either once, twice, sometimes four times a year. As a concept, I think it's probably about four years old. It's a stateside concept. All right. As far as the Red Cross is concerned, what is your role here today and in the community itself with the homeless? Well, first of all, we're here to help support Commissioner Finch's initiative and to partner with the rest of the nonprofit agencies here. And uh, uh, this is our first time, of course, on St. Croix. Uh, I know that we're looking at doing this in St. Thomas. So as far as the Red Cross, we're looking at how we can do more uh, just specific to the territory in fulfilling our mission of helping people prepare, prevent, and respond to emergencies. And that happens with the homeless as well. You know, disaster response, you know, disaster assistance with the Red Cross is free. And we shelter people during hurricanes. There, you know, there is no charge. It's a gift from the American people. And you know that's one of the messages that we want to convey today, that there's nobody left out of Red Cross service. Uh, let me put you on the spot now. Are we going to be okay for hurricane season? Are our shelters going to be okay and properly stored? I believe so. I mean, Commissioner Finch and I work really hard with the rest of the uh, the government and all the other nonprofit agents. There are so many people that have been involved in exercises to make sure that we are as prepared as we possibly can be. But you know, it starts with individuals. It starts with each one of us being prepared, preparing our families, and preparing our neighbors, reaching out to our community to make sure everybody's prepared. So it's not just us that do this on a regular basis. It's everybody helping. And I'm here with these two Two beautiful young ladies and our lieutenant governor Greg Francis and first I'd like these ladies to introduce yourselves please. I'm Pastor Marion Miranda from Shepherd Ministry Christian Frederickstead St. Croix. Okay. My name is Ruth Lang I'm associated with the um, St. Croix Mission Outreach Program. Thank you very much. Lieutenant Governor what does this mean um, for the homeless today this project uh, that was set up by the by the different entities here in the VI government and what we could do for them. Well, first of all, I'd like to say good morning to the viewing audience. And uh, this is a great uh, opportunity for the homeless. And not only the homeless, we have to consider the families also. Because at times we look at the homeless as homeless, but we're not looking at the strain and the burden that's being placed on the family members. But this is good. It's great because we're talking about a one-stop shop type of environment we call as homeless to get all the different services that's available to them not only from the government but the private sector you know we just part, part, the pastor mentioned a fact called a non-profit organization and this is good but the it could be better and I well I know this will be later on tonight but um, it'll be good I want to challenge the community and the family members to bring the homeless and those individuals in need of help 
we have to bring them to the different agencies and particularly today today's a great day and I challenge the folks today I know most of us have cell phones here we may know of individuals who are in need of help let's make some phone calls let's call the family members and tell them yes there are services being provided here today from now until about three four o'clock today and it's great and I want to thank the nonprofit organization and all the agencies taking part in this today thank you very much lieutenant governor I know he's a very busy person and uh, you ladies thank you very much for helping Helping our fellow citizens. It's a blessing helping them. Okay. Here we are at the Department of Agriculture Fairgrounds. I'm Wes Small for News Channel.